checking through schedules. Pressing the menu button, and we're going to scroll across to schedule, give that a tick. We've got two options here, we've got a winter and summer schedule. I tend to use the same schedule throughout the year in the UK. So I'm just going to give that a tick. We'll have a look at the heating to start off with. And this is what, how I'd recommend running most systems, which is where it's on all the time, but we vary the temperature. If we're not happy with how it's been set up, we can go onto a little pen and paper, specify which days of the week we're interested in. So we'll see, highlight those as required. I've got the same for the whole week. First option there is actually through on off. And there's my second option there with the heating. So I can go onto there, and so for example, I can go onto where it says 22 degrees and give it a tick, and I could delete it. And we can move it back a little bit, give it a tick, and then I can say make it say 23 degrees. So it's now going to be 23 degrees, now until there, then drops down to 18 degrees, back up to 22, and just for bedtime, back down to 18. If I'm happy with that, press the save button. For the hot water, click on there. Again, we can adjust that if we want to, so I've got it set for on at all times, so it's going to work on a temperature drop before it does any hot water. Again, it can have different setups for different days of the week, and then it's simply an on-off situation. So I can move that back and forth as required, and change as I want to. When you're happy with that, press the save button. And come all the way back out.